Alright, we're going to look at doing some probability simulations in Scratch. I'm using Scratch 3 here. It's in beta at the moment, but they say it should be done by January. The main thing that we're going to be using for probability simulations is this fella. So this is just a random number generator. This is going to give us 1 to 10. I'm going to start by doing the one with coins 1 to 2, so head or tail. Um, so if I click, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the question, does it equal, so this thing, is it equal to 1? And I'm going to say, if it is equal to 1, then do one thing, otherwise do another thing. Uh, and the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to count my, um, keep count of my numbers. So I need a variable to keep count of these things. One called tails, one called heads, and um, I'm just going to add one. So if it comes up as being one, then change heads by one. Otherwise, oops, otherwise change tails by one. Um, let's just see what happens if I do that. Yep, tails went up by one, tails went up by one. Seems to be all tails. Oh, I got a head. And so I'm just looking at the output in this output window over here. So that's all good, except it's one at a time. So the value of actually doing this, of course, is we've got a repeat option. I can take this repeat loop and say, uh, let's do it a hundred times. And if I just click on it to run it, what we got. Uh, actually, it might be a good idea to just drop in here in terms of the variables, reset these values before we begin. So if I just click on that, so yeah, that seems about right. Seems about right. Getting what we expected. And we could add some zeros in if we want to and we're doing 10,000 of them. So there's the simplest example of a probability experiment we can come up with. Um, let's do one that's slightly more complicated. Uh, I'm going to do one where we're rolling two dice, which is quite a nice one because um, you can calculate the probabilities. It's not necessarily intuitive, but then you can check by doing this. So in order to do this, we're actually going to have a list of the results. So two dice results. And we're going to kind of update the list as we go along with rolling the two dice. Um, so two dice, how are we going to do this? Firstly, we need to add together two random numbers between one and six. That's what that is going to do. I'm also going to put that into a variable. Um, I it might be reasonably obvious in a minute why. So I'm going to make a variable called total dice I don't know, whatever. and I'm going to say set total dice to being this value. Yep, so if I roll one dice we can see it happening down here. I've got a six this time by adding the two dice together and every time I click it, it rolls them again. I was rolling two dice. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this two total dice and we're going to jam them into this list. So I'm just hitting the plus here. So I've got 12 values and we're going to be slightly cunning. What we're going to do in our list is we're going to replace, oops, replace um, item total dice. So we're using the, the total dice variable to specify the position in the list. Um, and we're going to take what's currently in that position. So we get um, item total dice of uh, of the 2D dice results. Thank you. Item total dice of 2D dice results. And we're going to add one to that. So we're going to take whatever is currently in there, like that, and add one to it. And that's what we're going to replace the current value with is whatever the current value is plus one. So let's just see if that actually happens. Seems to be working. Just click a few more times, make sure it goes up. Yep. So every time I click, it rolls two dice and it goes up. And same as before, let's bung in a loop. 
so this lot I'm going to do it a thousand times. Click it to run it and that looks like a distribution that you might expect. 7 comes up the most, 1 didn't come at all, up at all and 12 and 2, not wildly dissimilar, let's keep rolling that. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm going to do another one now, but I'll let's do 10,000, but I'm going to do that in a separate video because it might get a little bit more involved.